Today we want to talk about the local remote capability, also known as sequence source frequency or sequence source command in the G100 inverter. In the G100 inverter, if you want to give frequency to the inverter from two different points or if you want to issue start stop commands, you can use the local remote or sequence source feature. But how does it work? You need to assign one of the inverter's digital inputs as you prefer to the second source mode. If this digital input is deactivated, frequency setting or start stop will be controlled from the local panel. If it is set to logic 1 or is active, both frequency setting and start or stop can be done from the remote. But what is the local parameter? In local mode, your start or stop will be done from the DRV. You specify whether your start stop is controlled from the terminal, keypad or network and in the FRQ parameter you also set your frequency reference. But if this digital input becomes 1, it switches to remote mode. In remote mode, your common source means this. Where is the drive supposed to be started from? This is set in parameter BA04 and parameter BA05. Your frequency reference. Okay, in this example we want let our local mode be controlled via the keypad and our remote mode be through a 010B signal. Let's go to the settings so we can enable this feature. Let's test it together. So as we said, in local mode we want the frequency reference to be set through this keypad. We enter the FRQ parameter and set it to zero. For our DRV in local mode, we want it to be zero as well, meaning it should also be through the keypad. The parameter related to our remote mode. It is BA04, which is related to the start zero. In our remote mode, we also want the start zero to be through the keypad. In remote mode, we said that we want our frequency reference to be from zero to 10 volts. We need to set BA05 to two, so we set it to the number two, and then any of the digital inputs can be chosen as desired. Now, here I have considered P3 in 67. If you set it to number 15, this digital input will be defined as a second source. If it is deactivated, it will be in local mode. If it is activated, it will be in remote mode. Okay, now my digital input is the same as before. As you can see, it's deactivated, so the frequency must be set from the keypad. For example, I set a frequency of 30 Hz and start the inverter. If this digital input is activated now, you'll see that by adjusting this potentiometer, my frequency value changes. So what does that mean? It switched to remote mode because remote mode is set in the, I had set parameter B05 to the analog voltage input, 0 to 10 volts. The start stop was also in remote mode via the keypad. I started it again via the keypad. So we were able to use a digital input by activating and deactivating it.